crawler and snap down, it kind of makes the mechanics of it a little bit easier to, to comprehend. So say you shoot in, I scroll up, okay? Now I'm right here in, this, in the perfect position to get this. I'm going to scoot over here so that you can kind of see it. So I can do this with my feet all the way up. Catch here, okay? And as soon as I'm ready, knee down, foot dropped. Okay? You're putting that foot through and you're trying to get this whole surface area down as you kick over. Or if you don't like them, you just sit on the guy's chest. Okay? One more time. So really, what, what you're doing is more dynamic situation as a counter. He shoots, you you sprawl, you know, standard sprawl, put the hip on his, you know, head to his, you know, his head's down on the mat. Then you start working your hands in there and turn them. Yeah. Can you do it one more time? And either one of these, where you where you work, where it could, could be either the the, the standard, the, the gable grip or the S grip or the. Um, you know, the, the old-fashioned grip, yeah, either that and pop them over. Either one works too, yeah, from a, from a sprawl. So. so. Like I said, it's a little bit harder for me to get this one, so that isn't as smooth when I do it as, as the S grip. So that gives you a little bit of a better idea how you, you kick over, post on the head, you know, use it whenever you're in that north-south top position. You know, one thing, can you show, because some of the guys are having a little trouble with this, when you do that S grip or gable grip, show how you put your forearm over and, you know, bar his, bar his head, uh, you know, the, uh, the, uh, on the back of the neck. Start with the S grip first, because with the gable, it takes a little getting used to to be able to do the scissors. So as I catch this, it starts vertical, and then you just drop your elbow on the side that you're going to go, okay? So now it's ended up like that. Okay, it's very easy just to do that. Okay, whereas with the gable grip, you have to kind of pinch a little bit more, so it takes some getting used to. This should be very easy, okay? But in any event, look how close, Derek's elbows are close together as he can get them. They're not, they're not flare, flaring out wide. That keeps his head down, it makes the, uh, the turn a little bit easier. It's less control than the gable, and it's a lot less control than the figure four, but it's easier if you've got shorter arms, okay? So as soon as that pressure, elbow goes down, keep that lock through, turn it, post up on your head, and squeeze. Okay? If you think that your hands are gonna go off, okay, post on your head and kick over. The higher your butt goes, the easier it is on your wrists. Okay? Makes sense. Alright, let's give it a good try. Good, good, okay.